Atukunyi. Atutaki. This leaked video of inmates on hunger strike has made the industrial area remand and allocation prison a subject of scrutiny. Just what exactly is happening here? The inmates who are remandees have made allegations of water brutality. They have accused the prison officer Wilson Tunui of assaulting two inmates in the month of June and August. John Kibowen, a high-profile inmate who was in remand for impersonating former DCI chief Ndegwa Muhoro and Inspector General Joseph Boynet, was confirmed dead at the Kenyatta National Hospital. The circumstances surrounding his death are still unclear. The investigation is still inconclusive. However, the director of operations prisons, James Kodeni, refuted the allegations, saying the inmates are protesting the confiscating of contraband goods, including drugs and mobile phones. The true position is uh, some prisoners tried to bring about problems here yesterday. And it's because of the change of guard which took place at this facility about two months ago. The officer who in charge who has come in has brought about stringent measures to ensure that no trafficking takes place in this prison, no prisoner accesses anything which is illegal. Hunger strikes are a powerful protest weapon, and it's not the first time that one is happening in this facility with close to 1,700 remandees. The officers have said that they have contained it, at least for now. What happens if the inmates continue? When a prisoner refuses to eat, uh, we are supposed to refer him to a hospital so that he is uh, seen by a doctor. If the strike goes on for some time and is becoming weak, and we can even enforce uh, forceful feeding. Sources that have shared these images of inmates with citizen television with requests of anonymity insist that on occasion since the change of guard, they have occasionally been denied meals, subjected to beatings in nightly inspections where the phones have been confiscated, and intimidation. They had vowed not to take porridge and lunch these past two days until the Commissioner General Isaiah Osugo addresses their concerns. He has since spoken Monday in Naivasha. The current officer who was taken there the other day is strict, is really strict on searches and so forth. So I think this is what they are trying to protest against. As is, the focus remains on one of the largest remand facilities in this county. To see how far the inmates till the last one can hold out and what the final outcome will mean for prison reforms. Dorcas Wangera, Citizen TV.